all right guys welcome back to the channel so what we have here and what we're going to be doing over multiple parts uh, of a build is a complete diy rebuild of a bmw n54 b30 as you guys can see here that the block has been disassembled cleaned uh, blasted and painted uh, the boards have been cleaned the cylinder boards have been uh, measured um, everything has been cleaned we have new rings uh, ready to go original BMW rings all six um, so uh, this DIY is gonna go very uh, in-depth and detailed so stay tuned for the series and episodes to come um, make sure you guys check out all my other builds that's happening at the same time I've got a N55 uh, rebuild I've got a M20 rebuild and I've got a BMW E36 M3 S50 rebuild and along with that I've got multiple parts of other stuff that we're rebuilding dry shafts differentials and so forth all right guys stay tuned thanks uh, we're gonna continue the rebuild on the N54 uh, so last time if you guys recall we went ahead and checked the ring gaps show you guys how we do the ring gaps uh, that's all done blocks cleaned um, spray nozzles have been installed correct angular has been set they have been torqued to uh, correct spec uh, I think 12 to 15 Newton meters that's been torqued uh, before I did that I went ahead and checked each of the uh, spray nozzle uh, valve so this is pretty much an all pressure relief valve so when all comes in through the block it releases a ball off of the uh, valve and allow all to come through make sure that was cleared make sure the nozzle is going in below the piston is cleared um, I'll put a link up to uh, N55 uh, where I showed you guys how that's done uh, for checking the oil spray nozzle so I'll put a link up to show you uh, how that was done so that's all installed and torqued you can see here the uh, piston rings have been installed on each of the six pistons um, if you guys want to see how to install uh, the piston rings on a piston um, I can put a link up to uh, one of the N55 uh, it's pretty much the same no no difference there of how I installed uh, the piston rings on the N55 um, so I can I can put definitely put a link up for that so what's gone ahead and do so rings have been installed onto the pistons and I've gone ahead and measure the rod with the piston and the rings and the bearings as an assembly individually and can compare the weight difference between each of the assembly right now this is a pretty good uh, assembly rotating assembly we've got a deviation of two to three grams between all six pistons assembly which is very good so that's been weighed we know we don't have any excessive weight that could give us vibrational imbalance so that's good uh, next thing that what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and install the crankshaft with the bed plate to check the main bearing all clearances so we're going to use the plastic gauge we are going to use the green plastic gauge to check our main bearing all clearances and i think we should be fine um, after that's done before we start to lubricate no after that's done, before we seal up the bed plate with the Loctite sealant, we're gonna go ahead and check the crankshaft run out. Uh, this one here was not done when the engine was disassembled. So I wanna check the run out to make sure that we are within the BMW specification. Okay? All right. All right, so we've got the N54 crankshaft. Crankshaft has been measured. The journals, the rod journals and the main journals have been measured, uh, zero and 90 for out of round and taper. So two measurements taken on each journal as best as I can from here to here at zero and 90. Allows you to check out of roundness and taper along the journal length. 
Uh, that has been done. If you guys want to check out a video how I've done a similar um, a crankshaft uh, N55, I'll put a link up to the video to show you guys how that's done. So take a look at that. Uh, just typically showing you one and it's repeatable. Um, after that, the journal uh, e journal was polished. So this is polished and ready to install. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check our main bearing all clearances. Okay, so initially, all of them are torqued to 20 Newton meters. And we're gonna go 70 degrees. Okay. 70 degrees. Alright, so you guys can take a look. Green plastic gauge. Initial look, and we'll show you a lot of it came off onto the bed plate. Initial look, this thing is right around uh, one and a half tau of clearance, which is very acceptable. If you go ahead and take a look here. One and a half. It's pretty good. So we've done our main all clearances. All the all clearances are are right around uh, kind of like the middle point or a little bit more higher, closer to the spec on the high side uh, that one and a half thousandths. So this is very good, this is acceptable. We are going to go ahead and clean the block, clean, clean the bed plate, plastic gauge, clean the crankshaft of the plastic gauge, remove the crankshaft, and then we're going to go ahead and get this uh, lubricated and put the crankshaft back in with just the two outer bearings and we'll check the run out, we'll spin it and check the run out on the crankshaft. And I think that'll be good. And then after that, we will be ready for the lower bed plate insulation with the Loctite sealant. All right, stay tuned. 